Hidden Object Guru here with Hot New Game Detectives United. The Avengers. Mystery Trackers Agency. Agent Shade speaking. Of the Shade. Elephant Games world. Queen of the United Kingdom. What? I beg your pardon for disturbing you personally. I need to God, I love it when the Queen tells you to go solve crimes. I know just the person. This used to happen all of the time in the um, Mystery Case Files series. I don't believe in shoes, Flying Wonder Girl. She's like, maybe I should put shoes on, and I'm like, no. No. I'm not pro shoes. Almost never wear shoes. Almost no, almost never. I am the I am the hidden object guru, and I'm a fan of all of the series that have make up this Detectives United franchise. Of course, you probably know me better as Postinid. That one didn't go too well. Let's get this game going. So he's a mystery tracker. She's from the. Grim Tales game, I think, and of course that's James, the recurring star of uh, of the Haunted Hotel series, who might be an immortal time detective? It's hard to tell. My name is Dorian Brown. Oh. I've been the head of a high-profile department of the agency for many years. But now I'm stuck doing paperwork. Oh no! I was the most experienced detective and solved the hardest cases. Agent Brown, I apologize for interrupting your work. Agent Shade, well, updating five-year-old records is the most. Important oh, I see what you're saying, Wonder Girl. You'll like this news then. No, I said I didn't say that. I said it would knock your socks on their asses. You don't have to be wearing them at the time. Ooh, fancy. Take our newest device with you. I'll be in touch. It's sad that I'm so out of touch with what Big Fish Games is doing that I found out that all of the detectives have united by discovering that there was a Detectives United 2. Thank you, Shane. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. So we haven't picked up two yet. We just picked up the first one. That makes me excited because there's a second one. As well you should be. <gasps> do, 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 do. Special features only. Oh, yeah. Let's check out the globe. Uh, check that. Okay. Royal Palace. Character figurines. Picture parts. Achievements. Ooh, fancy. Ah, oh, they don't tell you if you found all the collectibles in a room, though. That's always a problem. Okay. So we got morphing objects, 29, which means there will probably be 29 rooms in the game. This is a general rule, that's how it works. And uh, the picture pieces, there's generally also one per room. Sometimes there are two, and they will always be in a zoom-in screen. Again, these are generalities. Here's the code in case I forget it and a little puzzle to hide it from the persona non grata. Throw, um, you want to throw some, uh, perfume on it and then light it on fire. That is an adorable kitty cat. Does it make a sound when I click on it? It does not. I like it when they meow if you click on them. Is that so strange? Are we out of battery power? Maybe they could have sent me with a, a mystery tracker communicator machine that blanking had a full battery charge? Too late. Things are getting bad at mystery tracker headquarters. That's all I can say. Oh, there's that perfumilator. This but didn't know find what they were looking for. Why would you assume that? Anyway, uh, so I've got to get behind there. Got to get that thing. Let's perfumulate the code. I guess because perfume has alcohol in it. Hmm, need some oil to loosen the key, you say. You know, it could help me with that. A oh, kitty cat. Exactly. Hmm. Oh, right. I can use the heat here. 
Wow, that is an elaborate code. And so it's R X X equals that B X B. So R is a small opening. Oh, I see. I just have to do all of the symbols. So B, X, B, R, F, R. R, F, R? Yeah, R, F, R. I thought I was going to have to figure something out beyond that. All right, everybody, here it comes. The ultimate challenge of the hidden objectors craft. Ten hidden objects in ten seconds. Oh, crap, it's one of the pairs things. Forget it, we're not doing that. Yeah, so we've got a figure eight, figure eight unicorn, figure eight unicorn, figure eight unicorn, figure eight unicorn, figure eight unicorn note, figure eight unicorn note, unicorn, uh, figure eight note, 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 dragonfly, figure eight note, dragonfly, figure eight, is that a reference to something from another game? Or is it a reference to something we're going to see in this one? Uh, figure eight note, dragonfly ring, figure eight note, dragonfly ring. A figure eight dragonfly ring. Figure eight dragonfly ring. Figure eight dragonfly ring. Can I open it with a yeah? Figure eight dragonfly ring. So we got a figure eight and we've got a dragonfly. Figure eight dragonfly. I hate these so much. Oh ho! James Blackthorn, paranormal detective for hire. I'll let you take care of this. Unless it's for me, it's for me. Hold on. Don't move, everyone. Okay. James Blackthorne, paranormal detective for hire. James is world-renowned for his well-documented investigations into deadly haunted locations, saving many lives in the progress. No, he is only known for his well-documented investigations of deadly haunted hotels. He only investigates haunted hotels. That's his whole thing. Yeah, okay, there's the, the Grim Legends, the time traveler lady. Right, okay. She's claimed to have prevented her family's de demise many times using this ability. Imagine how hilarious, like, how hilarious must this series of games be if you're constantly having to protect your family over and over again? Like, at some point, it must seem to you like, wait a minute, I feel like maybe my family is bringing this on themselves. Hmm. Later, we're going to be able to click here to switch characters. Oh, this is so good. The dream is alive, people. All right, there's the figure eight. All right, we just need a dragonfly and a genie lamp. God, I hate these so much. Like, you know me. I never skip a hidden object game. But these, these frigging things tempt me, because who the hell knows where you're supposed to click on the screen? I don't. And I'm the hidden object guru. Seriously, where was it? That's a good question. Why was Her Majesty doing mysterious landmarks? Sorry, I've already... Oh, there it is. Okay. So now we need a dragonfly somewhere on this screen. Hmm. Aha! Nope. I realized I hadn't clicked on one of the drawers. There we go. There were two of the drawers I hadn't clicked on. It's the worst kind of hidden object screen. Because, again, it's a game of memory. Like, imagine playing a game of memory, only you don't know where the cards are in the room you're in. Oh, that's fun! No, it's not. It's the worst thing in the world. Stop lying. You're a terrible person. Hmm. That was pretty dumb. Aha! Double horsies! That's the correct number of horsies. Alright, let's deal with this rusty key situation.
Still no phonograph, sadly. <gasps> James right Blackthorn? Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing here? Wait, I think I know you. So, Mystery Trackers sent their most famous and oldest detective, Agent Brown. Burn. Just kidding. You look great, Agent Brown. At first, I thought the villain was spying on me, but I guess it was you. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Seriously, though. I, it's kind of hilarious that he, an immortal detective, is joking about someone Black else's age. A detective, an expert on paranormal activities. Sounds pompous, right? Historically, immortal call me James. love joking about someone like we're else's age the because same they suspect. find that joke of them joking too. about it very funny. Because immortal detectives are dicks. I was writing an article for Ghost Seekers. Yay! The phenomenon of paranormal activity. It was a quiet evening. Yeah, this is a normal evening. Me sitting around Suddenly proving the existence of paranormal activity. Before I could react, I was attacked from behind with chloroform. The movie or the term? I was the term. Like a light. It, it, it would be I know. When I came to, I realized that an old family artifact Oh no. My grandfather told me that the ring's mounted gemstone was priceless and possessed great power. He's constantly having new family stuff going on. I never dared to use it. Instead, I kept it in a safe place and told no one about it. Someone managed to find me, learn my schedule, and catch me off guard. Damn. The thief knew I was doing paperwork and couldn't put up a fight. I started thinking about other mysterious artifacts I came across during my investigations. I connected the dots and realized that one of those artifacts belongs to Her Majesty. I went to the royal apartments immediately in case she was in danger. Don't make fun of me, please. <laughs> Even famous detectives can get robbed. The paranormal energy trace led me right to the royal chambers. We're dealing yeah, it's nice. with a professional who planned to steal two powers. It's not at all time to his speaking, no but it's nice. Clues. I'm sure that he's looking for the next artifact right now. More importantly, I just wish James would say, I wish I could have be of more help, but we're not in a hotel, so my powers are useless. Hopefully at some point in this mystery we wind up in a hotel. And then it's all James Blackthorn. We should work together. I was consulting with your agency when they designed the tracking device you're using. No offense, but... Damn, James! I can show you how to use it to find out what our suspect wanted. So cold! Alright, let's go find some batteries for this thing. Inside my family signet ring, my grandfather passed Esther down to me, claiming it would persuade anyone to do your bidding. Wow. So wait, all this time James has had a mind control ring? That's a twist. Birdie! I don't know what that last symbol is supposed to be. Is that... It's a butterfly. Hmm. Famous detective robbed. A feather. When combined, these artifacts can cause catastrophic damage. Unfortunately, the artifact Esther, which I was protecting, has already fallen into... Dangerous hands. After months of investigation, I've uncovered the true names and powers of the remaining artifacts. Nergal can turn back time. Oh, that's her watch. Tamusk used to alter reality in space. Azazel provides the user limitless power. Wait a minute. This is literally the plot of Infinity War? Yep. Like, they, they said, let's do an Avengers with our various detective characters... And the plot is literally a villain is trying to get their three magic objects to have ultimate power. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. Oh. You've done it again, James. And what was the last one? An exclamation point? Yes. Wow. Uh, so I need the crown, I need a fingerprint, and I need a crescent moon. Do 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 do. Okay, what did I find? Gemstones? Oh, they're parts of a crest, okay. Every lock has its key. Good observation. So does anyone see a morphing object on this screen? We're looking for an object, is that it right there? Search for rare puzzle pieces to complete the collectible screen set. Oh, is this, was there not one in the first screen? 
Is, is that it there? Here, is that, that was transforming, okay. So they're saying there isn't gonna be a morphing um, uh, puzzle piece in every location? Yeah, okay. There's 29 screens, but there's only 20 picture parts, so there won't be one in every screen. And 14 even less, so they're only once every two screens are we likely to see a uh, um, figurine. Oh, double swans. My biscuit. Okay. What do I need a violin bow for? Okay, James, any thoughts? Alright, you're getting just flicked really hard. There. There's glitter under the the clock. Yeah, no, that's the thing I don't have the key for, remember? I have not been. That is clear. I have a very delicious meal in front of me. And no one's judging you for it. Kind of ignoring your game. Which I'm actually very interested in. Well, of course. It's the Avengers of Hidden Object Games. Mm -hmm. It's obviously the best idea anyone's ever had for a Hidden Object Game. You're supposed to use it to pull a key out of a fire. <laughs> okay, that's pretty badass, actually. I did not see that coming. That didn't look like the right kind of key for that kind of keyhole. Ah, who am I to judge? I don't know anything about uh, locksmithing when it comes to... Oh no, it's a go 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 ghost uh, Yes, I don't know anything about locksmithing attached to grandfather clocks. Really, who does? Grandfather clock, lock, clock long, uh, locksmiths? Oh, right. And inside there was... A bunch of nonsense. The crest parts is what was in there. <gasps> so we need to find three lions. Does this one count? It does. Two apples. Two hairbrushes. Two scarabs. Two perfumalizers. Oh, it's a picture of them. Two batteries. Again, that doesn't count as a traditional hidden object. Singa! Is someone trying to scare us? No, someone's trying to murder us. But, uh, good instincts. There's a circular outline here. I must figure out a way to open up that lock. Pray tell. I use a device to contact Agent Shade and search for the paranormal activity. This device used lots of energy must re be recharged regularly. Alright, let's do it. Oh, wait, we're giving it... Okay, we're not giving it to James. So you're oh, no, there we go. By a queen, right? Boom! The queen, not a queen. The queen. So is she, like, the Nick Fury of this universe, then? Definitely. That's obviously what's going on here. What? You're now playing as James Blackthorne. Nah. Alright, so... Boop! The mysterious Agent Brown. Five, six, seven, eight. Paranormal activity located. <coughs> yes, patting my leg should help. It's fine. Uh, I was in coordinates. I can call the agency for transport. Let's do it. Wait, if I give you the coordinates, why do you need to scan them? Oh, so I have to find out where he is before we can use that. That actually makes sense. Uh, getation going. Uh, investigation going. Death spill if you keep... Stan... something. Oh, there we go. How's your investigation going, detectives? Your blood will spill if you keep standing in my way. Sincerely yours, The Collector! This couldn't be more obvious. Also, he wrapped up, he threw a rock, uh, sorry, he threw a statue at us with a threatening note, and he tied it up with, like, a valuable necklace. This guy has weird priorities for how to spend his money, is all I'm saying. 
Boop. Hairpin? Is there a lock I need to pick? Have I forgotten about a lock I needed to pick? Uh, yeah, apparently so. Oh. Oh, no, I used to use it like pincers to pry this out. <laughs> nice. It's the piano key. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. And then, yes, finally a hidden object scene. We're doing it, everybody. Again, the ultimate expression of the hidden object finder's art. Ten in ten. No, it's silhouette screen, so we can't. What are you doing to me, game? Why must you taunt me like this? Do you not want love and appreciation that should be due you? Anyway, uh, we're looking for birdies. Lots of birdies. Uh, we're looking for fishies. We're looking for mirroirs. Uh, there's the moon. I need some sort of a heart necklace. A music howl note. Uh, I don't know, a train? An eagle in flight? That's not it? That is neat. Oh, it's this eagle in flight. Okay. Uh, sure, Maddie. Who doesn't? Plenty of people, I know. Thank you, your majesty. Ha <laughs> ha! That guy really is a dick. Can't imagine what the thief really wanted. Maybe the earrings? Only the earrings are missing. I can't imagine what the thief really wanted. I have to assume he wanted the earrings, which is why he took them. Am I oversimplifying this? Oh. Gesundheit. Sorry, I caused you to become, uh, get sympathetically hiccoughy, and I apologize. I'm pretty sure that's asthma, but okay. No, I'm, I'm gonna blame me. Okay. And you should as well. See? I clearly deserve to be blamed. Alright, what is this? So, we need a note... We treble need, clef. yes, a treble clef. We need What's like a there? gem. Down at the bottom. Of oh the yeah, there it is. We need a gem. We need a caudicus. Oh, there's the sun. And we need like a rose thing. Is that this? It was a vase that had a rose-shaped head. So we need a caudicus. We need like a fruit, and we need a heart. Oh, it was just a pin. It looked like a haddocus. Thanks, Maddie. Oh, Wonder Girl find the note as well. Merci. Hmm. In that swan dish, what's that gem that's in there? We already uh, grabbed oh, already one of the them? gems off okay. of there. Oh. Uh... oh, wait. That's That's the heart right there. Look on the charm bracelet. That's the exact heart we're looking for. But that's not what they want you to but click But we're not allowed to click on it. Doesn't that seem a little unfair to put the actual thing we're oh, supposed to click on click on, on screen? There. But look, that's clearly that. I know, but... Oh, whatever. So there's another one on the screen. Somewhere. It's probably larger. It would have to be. Lates, Maddie. You have a good night's sleep. Have a good night, Maddie. All right, is this like a hummingbird sitting on nectar, or what is that supposed to be? No. Oh, wait. No, those are two birds. And I'm looking for anything circular. Hmm. You're not allowed to zoom in on anything like, anymore. What about the behind the... the, the necklace display. Okay. There's the circular note. Okay. That's not it either. It kind of looks like a perfume bottle. You think? Kind of. That could be a perfume bottle, yeah. I see where you'd make that connection. It's none of the birds. I'm just going to get a little closer, see what I can see. Here is a mouse in case we find anything. And then I just uh, connect my headset because I'm clumsy. And not the mouse on the floor. It's one of those nights, people. There's the mouse. Okay. Stop judging me. Wasn't. You definitely were, but I appreciate it. 
Like, is there something we can click on to move it? That we haven't hit on yet? Now that I'm closer, I can see that we were 100% right about that heart being that heart. Look at that pearl thing over there. I mean, that. Oh, screw you, game! What am I supposed to do with it? I now? think you're supposed to click on the bird part, aren't you? What bird part? Is that not it there? I don't know what I'm trying to do. Here. See? The pearl. Oh. It's a bird on a pearl. Okay. Now try clicking here to let us see if they let us zoom in on that. A little higher. Yes. Oh, you just had to spot. do them in oh. order. Maybe you had to do them in order. What happened? I went back. Uh, don't worry. We can just click on it again. Oh, uh, maybe you had to do them in the right order or something? Or are you thinking oh, we were clicking higher. too low. All right, I don't actually know what happened there. It was upsetting, though. Okay, that was frustrating. What just happened? The, the screen had to switch over. Oh. Look at how weird the place you have to click is. Like, you have to go higher on the chain part of it. Do you want me to do it? I know where I click. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, wait. There it goes. That is a crazy place to have to click. And I want to point out, it didn't turn into a magnifying glass the way it was other times. Like, this is just bad design, Elephant Games. Come on. Usually, I can count on you guys to be better at this sort of nonsense. What the hell? Someone tore up a secret message, meant only for the eyes of the Queen, or more likely, us, the people the Queen hired, to deal with this situation, because anyone who wants to rob the Queen should know full well the Queen has no interest whatsoever in, uh... There we go. Keep what up? Take more than three minutes to solve a puzzle? Oh. Solve three mini games without skipping. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, should you wish to chat with me, you can find me here. Sincerely yours, the Collector, who again is literally the name of a character in Avengers: Infinity War. Just putting that out there. This game is not subtle, and I love that about it. Okay, you do, don't you? Black Isle, the Black Swan Clinique. No, it isn't. I can read it. Oh, there. Okay. Like I can read it queer clearly. Oh, yes. Pencil. 58 degrees. 48 degrees. 19 degrees. 1 degree. Oh, they're in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're looking for eight. Seven. So we're looking for seven. Yay, we did it, everybody. We've got our uh, coordinates. We're safe to go and kick some ass in the next area to have an adventure. Black Swan Isle. Black Swan Isle. And I think we've collected everything here. We're going to have one last look to make sure. Theoretically, we shouldn't be able to zoom on anything anymore. Nope. Like if there were a puzzle the piece left, I think that's just ambiance. I'm a detective, and you're a paranormal case expert. We're in your field of expertise, so I'll let you take the lead. I agree. I should be in charge. I'm James Blackthorn, oh, man. God. What? All of the money Disney has, they should probably hire a new poster designer. Oh, it's so <laughs> true. Also, buy more than two colors. They only own orange and blue. Thank you for the coordinates, Jane. It looks like the trace leads to the Black Island. The helicopter is on its way, gentlemen. Woohoo! We did it! Mission accomplished, everyone. Well, paranormal expert, I hope you don't suffer from error. <laughs> Let's go back to the Black Island. Apparently, Detective Brown is a dick. 
Uh, Viking City is a gloomy, mysterious place. I agree. Is this a location we've been to before? Or? Apparently, that was everyone in the window. It's been years, and this place still gives me the creeps. When were you last here? I never thought I'd come back to the Black Ops. Oh, he's been to Black Ops before. I investigated before. a case here many years ago. Oh, cool. But it used to be famous. Thanks I have not played Black all Swan. of the Mystery Tracker games, or actually just one Mystery Tracker Black game Swan is all I've played. Black was created for youngsters with paranormal powers all over the world. What? They said they would help cure the kids and remove their strange abilities. Sounds like they were trying to create their own super-powered team, right? It's an X-Men joke. Yes, yes, we get it. Wrong. There was a rebellion in the clinic. <gasps> wow. I'm guessing it's not a coincidence that brought us here. We should split up and find a way to get into the clinic. If something goes wrong, the helicopter is ready to take us away from here. See you inside, partner. We should find a way to get inside the clinic. Here, take this chainsaw that doesn't have a blade or chain. Thanks? Such a weirdo. How can I get whatever's on that roof? Oh, darn. Tool might help. I agree. All right, so we're looking for a transforming object, and I found it immediately. And I can't move the scum away with this. Or the, yeah, that was crazy. Morphing. Uh, what the hell? I need to scare a bird away to get that. Mystery tracker's badge. But wait, that must mean... Yeah, a chainsaw, I know. Here we go. Well, that wasn't such a chore. Oh god, I hope we get to fix that boat. I guess we're going to find out if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, I know. No, we can't click on the boat, so we might not be fixing it. I'm sorry to report. What? What happened? I don't know if I should say. Don't say then. Jimmy Kimmel asked the stupidest you are question saying. of the, of the Spider-Man cast. Okay. Asking about the time leap. How come they're all still... They disappeared. In high school. And I'm like, are they you They all stupid? disappeared. Are you not watching the movie? Uh, You're a pretty dumb person, Jimmy Kimmel. Although I guess we've always known that about Jimmy Kimmel, haven't we? He's kind of a dumb guy. Hey, what do you bet we can't scare the crow away with a chainsaw, even though it's a chainsaw? We can't. Thank God there was someone there to pull those pieces of tree away. Get inside the manager's study. Or the Menagerie's <laughs> study. So long, partner. That elevator should go to the administrator's study. There's just one problem. It's not working. Can you fix it while I collect the evidence around here? Sure, buddy. Sure. Although, and again, I don't know if I 100% trust you. Yay! All right. So, we used a chainsaw. We got into the Black Swan Clinic. This is the perfect time to take a break. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. If you want to find out uh, what happens next in the Elephant Games version of the Avengers, I would drop by the next item on the playlist. I'll see you there, but until then, au revoir.